This was what the estate originally looked like with all the interlock interlocking blocks and trees and this is the, the what it will become. When I started coming to Carnival, all those tears ago, push myself up against the big speakers to feel the boom thud my heart. I move into Murchison House on the Warnington Green Estate. I lie in bed and listen to the magpies shouting in the circle of tall trees just outside my back door. Outside my front door, I have a tiny garden that I rake and tend and flower. I find a caterpillar who looks like a punk with a purple Mohican. <laughs> Our world, it will be. 
The engineered hostility of the Windrush scandal. One of the most immoral chapters in the UK's chronicle of injustice. Injustice is endemic. It is the true pandemic. The criminal justice system is not effective, not efficient or accountable, but rather riddled with racism from sus to stop and search. Racial disparities and inconsistencies are insurmountable. Inquiries and inquests are flawed constructs to ensure the advantage of the state's apparatus. The culture and heritage of local communities. The popular rates rebellion or popular rates revolt of 1921 is a part of England's proud, spirited history of dissent. Equity and justice has always come at a cost. Power has never been conceded. It has always been taken and lives have been lost. A familiar story of the majority ordinary people's ardour, their struggle and strength that ushered in change, battled intolerance, led to improvements and created resilience, built vibrant places and spaces from the impoverished slums of Poplar to the slums of North Kensington. The fabric of our history is woven with dissent. We dare to dissent. It is a white monument. It is a white, unfinished monument paid for by white men who didn't want to pay to finish it. It's a white, unfinished monument paid for by white men who didn't want to finish it. It's a white monument to the idea of a monument. It's a white monument to an idea of a monument that wasn't white in the first place. It's a white monument that imitates a monument that was conceived as an idea by white men actually was a very different monument. It's a white monument to the supremacy of the white men who didn't want to pay to finish the monument. It's a white monument to the Athens of the North. It's a white monument to the idea of the Athens of the North. It's a white monument to the idea of a Britain that has Athens in it, that has an Athens that's a fake Athens that no one of the ruling class of Britain could be bothered to finish, despite the fact they had so much money from the proceeds of slavery. It's a white monument to arrogance. Austin Carrick and Clean Hoot, Austin Luf and Kaisel Hro, and Osan Shin. On two sixty-four, son from Fernach in all. Sudish here, I'm Khan and Vred. Through Macfedich and Hut Maduf, I'm fear I'm Rim Buchachus of Vay. San and the Schlonte, Khan of Rif. Gulnam Ban and Krachenshaw is Kri am Fach man Gu Aven. Is a hag an hosan got trom trom frach mach fedi da chlochshan.
I do declare that this is my Archibald Putnam. Hey, Hi, it's been Archibald. a long time. How's it going? What you up to? Well, if you can't tell, I'm sat here in this lovely park drinking my coffee. Archie, same old Archie here. You're a funny guy. I saw you drinking. I knew you was drinking. Tell me, do you know about that project across there, the Portobello Pavilion in Power Square? Um, it, it rings a bell, but I can't, doesn't come right to the brain. Um, you'll have to inform me, what, what is it? Okay, so uh, the uh, Portobello Pavilion, it's been here for a few years and uh, it's been set up for artists, you know, to kind of just, you know, support the community with their community, their performances and their art. It's a, it's a really cool project. I mean, you should, you know, come check it out. Perhaps, maybe, I, I, actually, I do remember it. It was on last year, wasn't it? It sure was. Now, I'll tell you what. When you finish this here drink, why don't mm -hmm. we go across there? There's an open mic night starting. Right. Yeah, and you know Harry? He's going to be doing some poetry. And there's a really cool band. They're kind of like a hip-hop jazz fusion. They're called Dows and X. Isn't Harry Dutch? I do believe he is. And hold on a minute. Did I just hear you say Dows and X? That sounds like a, an Asian name. Do you really expect me, Archibald Pottingham, to be listening to foreign music? I'm the type of person to only listen to homegrown British music. Wonderful artists like Adele and Ed Sheeran. How dare you even contemplate me listening to that foreign shit? Oh my God. I, I mean, I, Archie, man. I mean, I, I know I'm being away a bit, but I feel like I'm in a dream. I can't believe the shit you just said. It's some racist stuff, man. Do you not know the country that you live in? It, it, this country's been like enriched by immigration. What, what's going on, man? How are you crazy, Isis? How could you ever you know, think that this, this country has been held by immigration? Okay, I'm gonna break it down for you. Cause you don't seem to know, and, I, and I'm real, real shocked by what you just said. So this country's ever since it, this islands first rose out of the sea man it's been a home of immigration there have been africans here for millennia there have been people from the middle east there have been italian people and french and dutch and spanish and germans and there have been every kind of people indian people chinese people that's the way this country has been made and i'll tell you something else in case you didn't know archie you know that royal family that you love they're german the queen is a german Okay, I have heard that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not as educated as you, and sometimes I make mistakes because of my family, you know, my parents. They have instilled this, this wonderful Britishness to me. I, 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 am, I love my mother country, you see. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to break it down again to you. Maybe I don't, I don't know what's going on here, Archie. Um, you're a nice guy, but you know, you, you, you don't seem to realize that people's whole sense of their well-being is enhanced when they get to know other cultures, man. When you get to know other people and you travel and you talk to people and learn about who they are, you become a more full person. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, this so-called mother country of yours, this is, this is one mongrel nation, there ain't nothing pure about the English. Okay, maybe my problem is not being to, able to accept people for who they are and the fact that they may be from some other culture. Maybe I'm too expecting of people being British. Maybe I can change. Well, you do realize, Archie, that uh, I'm an African-American. And I thought your family came from the Caribbean, so I'm kind of confused about where you got all these weird kind of concepts about who you are and about Englishness and Britishness. But, my brother, you know, it's not too late to change. I, I think you should come across the road and check out the pavilion and see, you know, what's going on. There's a lot of kind of diverse art. Okay, you know what, maybe, maybe you'll change my mind and 
maybe I will try to open up and be more receptive to new and strange peoples. Why? Well, I'm really pleased to hear that. Should we take a little walk across the road and see what's going on there? Yes, let's go. Why not? Oh, my God. Archie. And that's a zombie over there. I think you are a bit crazy. I've always known you to be a crazy woman. Archie, I'm telling you. I live in America. I watched The Walking Dead. That's a damn zombie. Yeah, I think, I, 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 he's biting that woman. I, I, I think we are. We are. Yeah, we, I think we ought to go the other way. That feeling that makes your heart young to the sheep. When the act affects your life and walk, it's all about the yes. That feeling. A yearning that was treacherous. Across this vast planet, we were cruel. Once the escape ended, we felt excited and gracious. To land in this impressive capital. Even though my waist is rare, I know the ground I stand on is weak.
No! No! Sorry, I'm going to be well.